All right, my little YouTube motherfuck faces, my little flat earthers, my peeps. This is an open message out to a MGTOW philosopher. I went by and I watched his show today. I've seen his show a couple times and I said something about how, you know, Gaia, the Mother Earth, you know, is uh, just merely one part of the bigger lie, you know, that he was trying to proselytize about. And uh, he didn't like it, and he actually ended up banning me from his show. Okay. And, you know, I didn't really expect anything less. The guy is only a half-truther. You're only a half-truther, MGTOW philosopher. And uh, here's my story, man. Okay, back in 2010, my friend, very close friend of mine, showed me that book, The Manipulated Man. Okay. MRA, Men's Right Activists, it's basically their Bible. The manipulated man it's by a female author it's from the 1960s okay I'll, I'll leave the audio book link below you can see it on youtube her name was esther Villar, and she basically set up the foundation for mra which set up the foundation for migtow i didn't know that i was a migtow but it sent me into migtow monk mode and i set my standards so insanely high that i was pretty sure i was just gonna die alone I was pretty sure at that point I was just going to spend the rest of my life alone, seeing as how I knew and understood female nature at that point. But I somehow found a unicorn. I found a Nawalt. And Nawalt stands for not all women are like that. That's what a Nawalt is, okay? That's a Sandman term. Or, you know, someone else started, but Sandman uses it a lot. I actually found a Nawalt, okay? We've been together six years. We go 50-50 on the bills. She has no interest whatsoever in kids. She knows that kids are nothing but a headache and that kids are used to, by females to parasite off of men, okay? She doesn't want kids. She, she knows they're annoying as fuck, okay? Um, she helps me make MGTOW-oriented videos and she helps me make Flat Earth videos. She's a unicorn. She's one of a kind. Most men will never even come close to finding anything that even resembles my unicorn, okay? And um, I don't really feel bad for you guys. It's just, you know, God doesn't have it in the cards for you guys. You know, maybe one day, maybe one day when you're much older, you'll find one. But I have mine, okay? We don't rely on the government to validate our monogamous love. We don't believe in the bullshit institutions of government, marriage, okay? Now, I'm just blessed by the creator, basically, you know, with my, my talent, my creativity, uh, my intellectual prowess, and maybe a little bit of my good looks, you know, thank God. And I was blessed, fortunate enough to find her. Okay, now the thing is, big town philosopher, you're out here shaming, shaming people for their beliefs in flat earth when we show up on your show. I showed up and a couple of other guys popped out of the woodwork to support me and then you banned us all. The purpose of MGTOW, okay, is for a man to refuse to settle for anything subpar from any woman, which I did, and I found my unicorn. I found my Nawalt. So I'm really like the ultimate red-pilled man. I'm truly like the ultimate MGTOW. So that's why I feel like I'm totally justified in speaking for MGTOW. Nobody wants to spend their whole life alone, okay? MGTOW is about not settling, which I've achieved. Okay. You're going to say, some of you out there are going to say I'm purple pilled. I'm not full red pill, but no, my pill is so fucking red. You can't even see it. It's so red. It looks purple. It looks blue. Okay. <laughs> now, as you've said yourself and as Sandman and MGTOW 101, MGTOW 101 have said themselves many times, women use the government as their alpha male to bully the men around them in their lives. Okay. That's what welfare is about. Um, that's why a man has to pay child support. And when the man doesn't pay the child support, the government uses physical force and puts them in jail. Okay? We all know that. Now, government lies, feminism, all that shit's the same shit. It's all part of a hidden gynocracy. And the globe lie is merely one small part of that much bigger lie. Okay? NASA's part of that same government. Now, why wouldn't they be used to pull the same wool over all y'all's eyes? Okay, NASA, NASA is nothing but bullshit. That's been confirmed. Now, you can go to the beach, okay? I'm gonna leave some links below. You can go to a beach, you can go to some salt flats, okay? And there's an there's a x-axis from the side to side, there's a y-axis from the front to back. You can look out at the y-axis and trick yourself into thinking that you see curvature, 
you could trick yourself into thinking that you see boats going over a horizon, even though when you zoom back in on with a telescope, they pop right back into position. But on your x-axis from your side to side, you will never see curvature. That's because the Earth is a flat plane. Okay, I'm gonna put these links below. Now, the globe, and even more so the oblate spheroid, okay, represents the pregnant belly of Gaia, Mother Earth, female worship, worship of the gold plated vagina, okay? Now, not only that, at the bottom of where that pregnant belly ball, at the bottom of that pregnant belly ball, excuse me, is a highly government protected virgin white area. Okay, right where the vagina would be. Right where it would be. <sighs> okay, I'm the only guy on the entire earth that is, has realized this truth. I am the only fucking person on this entire planet that has realized this truth. So I own it and I'm gonna run with it. I know I've been talking about it a lot lately, but MGTOW philosopher, you're only giving your viewers half truths. Okay. Now, the only thing that's left after you see these, after you see all the evidence for flat earth and you see the laser tests that confirm that the, the mathematics for the globe earth are complete bullshit. The only thing that the globers have left as their evidence is shit that's in the sky. Okay, objects, supposed objects that are in the sky that they use astrono astronomical things and measurements like that. Now the thing is, no one can ever touch those alleged celestial objects. That includes the sun, the moon, any stars, any planets. No one can ever touch them. <sighs> yes, you can observe them. You can observe, you can view them with your eyes, but for empirical observation, you need to use two or more of your senses, okay? All they have is the ability to see alleged celestial objects. You cannot touch them, you cannot smell them, you cannot hear them, and you cannot taste them. So all you have is one sense. So you're not, you're not truly observing these things, okay? It might be like, you know, loosely observing them, but you're not experiencing them. You cannot confirm the validity of their um, material existence. These alleged celestial objects might not be objects at all, okay? MGTOW needs to go to the next level. Okay, and flat earth is the conduit for the ultimate liberation of the mind. All right now, flat earth makes the MGTOW journey a thousand fucking times easier once you know the magnitude of the government's lies. And once you know the magnitude of the hidden gynocracy it all makes perfect sense. The pregnant belly is the mother earth. It's the ball of Gaia. The entire globe earth mythology can be shredded to pieces, mathematically, visually, scientifically. It's, sh it's been shredded to pieces for several years now. The globe is a 100% lie. That is a fact, okay? No one can ever show you an entire picture of the earth. And all this bullshit about you'd fall off the edge and how does water stay on the edge and ice rings with the, you know, uh, Game of Thrones and all this bullshit you were talking about. None of that shit is necessary, MGTOW philosopher. None of it. It's all bullshit. And you're a normie. You're a cuck for the female mother earth government Gaia pregnant belly ball of the alpha male government that wants to beat you into submission and all your MGTOW listeners into submission. And you support that shit, MGTOW philosopher. You support the worship of the GPV, of the gold plated vagina, by sitting there and defending NASA and defending the globe, okay? MGTOW men are already halfway to where they need to be. So it's time for people like you, MGTOW philosopher, and people like you, Sandman, if you can hear this too somehow, I doubt you will. But it's time for all you guys to take this shit to the next fucking level. Unless, of course, unless, of course, you're not really in this for the truth. Now, anyone out there that can get this video out to MGTOW philosopher, I'd love to hear his response. Once again, I'm validation boy. Stop promoting the worship of the government through the GPV.